I will show and describe the top tools used by the DevOps uh, engineers. Um, the, uh, nowadays, uh, DevOps is a buzzword in the IT industry. What is exactly DevOps? Uh, DevOps is a uh, like uh, DevOps integrates the developers and operational uh, teams uh, to provide the better uh, uh, collaboration and uh, uh, output. So by automating the um, infrastructure and automating the workflows of the continuous uh, um, deliverables. So um, I don't want to go in depth uh, what is uh, uh, like uh, why DevOps came into the um, picture and uh, so earlier you might heard about uh, uh, software life cycle, uh, software development life cycles like uh, traditional uh, uh, SDLC that is a waterfall. In waterfall, uh, so um, um, there is a like uh, lot of uh, drawbacks are there. Like uh, if any requirement uh, comes, uh, so there is a procedure uh, like uh, gathering the requirement. Uh, uh, analyzing that requirement uh, after that uh, uh, designing the uh, requirement complete requirement and coding or uh, implementation uh, and testing deployment then maintenance these are the processes and uh, it takes time a uh, lot of time to the um, market to the market of product so that is the main one thing and the second thing is like uh, the collaboration is uh, not that much sufficient so uh, to overcome uh, like that uh, there are lot many I don't want to get into those things just uh, I wanted to show you what are the top tools used in the DevOps procedure so let us have a look into them so as I said there are a development plus operation equal to DevOps. So in the development side, uh, these are the tasks uh, uh, which is uh, marked in a blue uh, left hand side and operational team will perform uh, these activities uh, which are mentioned at right side. So the first is uh, development team. It will get the requirement and plan. It will plan the requirements planning will be done after that the coding once the coding is done then uh, the building will happen uh, will be happened so once uh, the changes will be built then uh, testing so this is the process once uh, this test is successful uh, the, if any errors are there then again it will go to plan code build again test if test is passed then uh, it will uh, uh, release uh, that build to the production then their operational team will take care to deploy that uh, build into the production system once uh, it is deployed oper op uh, it will operate after that it will continuously monitor if uh, while monitoring any bugs are there and uh, any issues uh, that will be intimated to development team again it will go to uh, process planning coding and build test <coughs> again same same way this is the one so for this what are the tools are available in the market there are uh, many tools among them um, top tools uh, i'm mentioning here first uh, planning and coding <coughs> for this sake uh, git uh, you know this is a uh, distributed version control uh, system and uh, svn the subversion control system and Jira. These, these are the tools uh, in the market uh, mostly used for planning and coding. Once coding is done for building Maven and Ant, so Gradle. Mostly 90% projects are using uh, Maven Java projects. So uh, nowadays it is started uh, Gradle also since uh, emerging technologies are there like microservices. Uh, um, uh, uh, microservices uh, it is uh, built uh, uh, by using Spring Boot, there we can use uh, this industry is using Gradle. So build is done. Once build is done, then uh, testing. So Selenium is the 
one uh, which is uh, used for uh, automation automate testing so uh, this one will perform the automate uh, testing but uh, it doesn't uh, provide the uh, um, reports so for that uh, test ng is used so test ng will uh, uh, do the test case management and it will provide the uh, report of the testing whether how many test cases are passed and how many are failed those information will be um, gathered uh, by using test ng so test is successful then uh, deployment for deployment sake deployment operation deployment and operate uh, so if there are uh, uh, plenty number of uh, uh, tools are there first is uh, docker and uh, docker is the containerization uh, tool which is used to create the containers so <coughs> here uh, we no need to install uh, any traditional servers uh, like uh, uh, tomcat um, um, weblogic jboss those things it will be create dynamically uh, according to our configuration it will create the containers based on the scalability so kubernetes this is the this is also same as uh, docker only puppet this is a continuous uh, management uh, sorry configuration management uh, tool chef and uh, salt stock uh, ansible these are the tools we used for uh, deploy and operate uh, tasks and monitoring so we can use stack or splunk or nagios this is the old one and a very popular one and this is the more advanced one nowadays the industry is started using splunk uh, this is all about uh, to integrate between development and operational team there is a major uh, one software that is uh, jenkins jenkins bamboo hudson so most 99 percent you can say industry is using jenkins uh, because it is a integration tool uh, and it provides uh, uh, plugins uh, to automate all the tasks both development as well as uh, <coughs> as well as uh, uh, operational you might heard in nowadays uh, CICD continuous integration continuous uh, deployment and here uh, continuous uh, deployment deployment uh, and continuous delivery some people will say there is a difference slightly difference is there continuous uh, delivery and continuous deployment um, yeah, okay that is uh, continuous deployment only so continuous testing and uh, like this these are the uh, major uh, tools uh, used in the devops uh, world or devops engineers thanks for watching my video if you like please subscribe the, my channel thank you